Hello, Royalty. Good morning, and welcome to our touch point today. My name is God Gift Austin, your regular host and anchor to this channel. Like we used to do it, we pick our topics, we deliberate on them scripturally to find out the mind of God in those areas of concerns raised and how to respond accordingly. In so doing, those questions have lingered over the years in our hearts and sometimes seem to have defied answers are being tackled. I have no doubt that your own burdens have been lifted right in this platform. The only thing you need to do to confirm is to follow us on our Facebook page and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Remember to use the comment section to share your testimony as the Lord is blessing you, as well as share the messages, let it go viral for others to know that God is moving stones in this place. Shall we pray? My Father, my God, I thank you for today. I thank you for what you are doing. I thank you for what you are yet to do. Glorify Jesus in this place. Let lives be changed to the glory of your name. In Jesus' name, amen. Yesterday, we began a topic titled Aging and Old Age. And the first question that we are or we're beginning with is what in what area does God consider age an irrelevant issue? We are still on it. So let's go further to the next passage today. John chapter 6, verse 8 to 9. Then Andrew, Simon Peter's brother, spoke up. There is a young boy here with five loaves of bread and two fishes. But what good is that with this huge crowd? In Joshua chapter 13 verse 1, When Joshua was an old man, the Lord said to him, You are growing old, and much land remains to be conquered. In Joshua chapter 14 verse 11, I am as strong now as I was when Moses sent me on that journey and I can still travel and fight as well as I could then. In Luke chapter 1 verse 18, Zechariah said to the angel, how can I be sure this will happen? I am an old man now and my wife is also well along in years. In 1 Samuel 16 verse 7, but the Lord said to Samuel, don't judge by his appearance or height, for I have rejected him. The Lord doesn't see things the way you see them. People judge by outward appearance, but the Lord took or the Lord looks at the heart. Yes, and I want us to look at the summary of the passages we have been reading. That God uses people of every age to do his work. No one is too old or too young to have an impact for God. Perhaps, uh, I mean, people look at outward appearance and age, but God looks at the heart. If you see Psalm 119 verse 100, it says, I am even wiser than my elders, for I have kept your commandment. God does not use people according to age. And that is why we can see somebody who is a year old, two years old, ministering in the power of God and doing things that are beyond human understanding. You and I know too that Moses was almost, or even Abraham, they were old. Moses was 80 years before God began to work with him. Yes. So you see, God does not look at people's age. By human perspective, 80 years should have retired. Yes, they should have retired. But God, you know, chose him at that time to start working for him. So God does not watch your age. Age is nothing before God. So no age is irrelevant. All ages are relevant in the work of God. The only thing that is required for you is availability. And I want us to pray with this word. If the Lord has touched you here, know it too well, it is not too late to start. 
and you want to surrender to God and say, Lord, I have heard your word, save my soul. Just say this prayer after me. Say, Lord Jesus, thank you for this word that has gone out for me. Please save my soul from eternal damnation. I don't want to die without anything. Wash me by your blood and give me a fresh start and a new beginning. Lord, I ask for your mercy. Write my name in the book of life, delete it from the book of death. Uh, I want to live and reign with you in eternity. Satan, withdraw your filthy hands out of my life. You did not make me. You cannot keep me. My life belongs to Jesus and I have returned to him. Thank you, Father. I am born again. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. If you have prayed this prayer with me this morning, congratulations. And I encourage you to keep feasting your gaze and fellowship with us at this law or this perfect law of liberty at this king's table. You will never get it wrong fellowshipping with us. God bless you. And to my listeners all over the world, the Lord keep you. The Lord bless you. The Lord watch over you and lift his face and countenance upon you. You will never walk in error. Whatever you touch shall become gold. Where you least expect, the Lord will take you to it. Thank you for being part of me. And it is because of you that I'm still here. And the Lord glorify himself in your lives. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. God bless you.